What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment here, back today with another episode of MLB The Show 16. This is my Road to the Show series with my third baseman. And today, we're once again going to be taking on the Salt Lake Bees. And we got a four game series coming up. We got all four games for y'all today. And hopefully, we can get at these guys, man. I think it's the first time we're going to be playing these guys on the road, too. So it should be interesting. And right here, we are still two games back behind the Fresno Grizzlies. Hopefully, we can catch up with these guys, and I'll see you guys in the game. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, we get the week started with the first of four between the Tacoma Rainiers and the Salt Lake Bees. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Eric Karros, who you focused on? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He's been hitting the cover off the ball lately, batting over 350 in the last 10 games. All right, we're getting our first batting opportunity here in the top of the first inning. We already got two out, so I guess it looks like we're going to be batting third once again. Four seam slider and a two seamer, so I'm guessing this guy's going to be throwing quite a bit of heat. We have to be watching out for that. And we're going to get a base hit right here on our first at bat. He's going to miss play the ball out there in left field. And we're going to keep going. We're going to see if we can get the third. And our guy is running out of steam. And we are going to pull in with a nice triple to start off for the day. And our dude looked very slow getting all the way to third, though. But we are on a 28 game hitting streak. That's what I like to see, though, man. Great start off to this game. Coming to the ballpark knowing that you're gonna a get a bad play out there in left field. Right He's got to be able to cut that off. Here it comes on one so, 1-1 one, one count here with two outs. And that ball is not going to get through anywhere. He hits it straight to the second baseman, so we will not score. All right, top of the second inning here. You all can see right at the bottom, we are batting DH once again. Unfortunately, I did enjoy playing out there in the field. But it looks like right here, we got a man on second, uh, excuse me, not second, third, and a four run, and we got four runs. He had a four run lead on these guys, excuse me. Hopefully we can do something, man. That ball hit high and deep, stretch, stretch. Get on back there, they look up, you can put it on the board, yes, yes. And showing some opposite field power right there. We're going to send that one deep for a two-run blast, extending this lead to six to nothing. These, it looks like it's going to be a blowout. A two-run home run, 352 feet over that right field wall. Yeah, man, showed a lot of strength pushing that one right out of there. Let's go. That ball just kept carrying and carrying. We got another home run on the year. They're looking really good. And they have come back to tie this game six all. My goodness, our starting pitcher must really suck. And their starting pitcher is still out there. To my surprise, wow. He sends one right down the middle. That's going to be an extra base hit right there. That was getting all the way to the wall. We've seen it. The third base coach tells us to come. He is, but that ball got in a little quicker what I was expecting so we're gonna hold up a second with a nice double on the day let's go three for three to start off and they do got a new pitcher in the game right now one two count and that's gonna be a ground out to the second baseman but we will move over here to third we only got one out two two count it's a weak ball, but we are going to be able to come home. We're going to slide in here first, and that throw is way too late. Let's get it. Take the lead. Chandler Whitaker will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. All right, so we hit that home run. Right here, the game is tied 7-7 with a man on second. They want nothing to do with us. They don't want us, I guess, giving our team the lead. So they're going to go ahead and give us a nice intentional walk. And we are actually a single away from breaking the cycle. Well, not breaking the cycle, but getting the cycle. 
So we won't get it on that at a bad attempt. And looks like they made a smart idea intentionally walking us. This guy grounds out. 9-7. All right, man. We got a man on second base with one out. I wonder if they intentionally walk us again because it would actually make sense since that last guy is grounded out. I think almost each time he's been out the bat. So to get the double play and not have another run, that would actually be smart. And he leaves us a hanging curveball. Probably should have took a swing get that one. Let's see if we can extend this lead though to 10 to 7. We could really use it the way our pitch has been going today. We're going to send this one deep out there to right center field. We're going to stop here and ah oh, oh. It's going to wind up hopping over the wall. I was just going to stay at first to get the cycle. But they thought otherwise, and they're going to go ahead and reward us with the double. So unless this is our final bat, we won't be completing the cycle. And that ball is hit deep to left field, but it's just going to be a... Simple fly out out there for him. And we're just going to hold up here a second. One, two count, two out. And that ball's going to be a soft ground ball over there to second base. We're going to wind up getting him out of here. And top of the ninth inning, look at this. Bases loaded with two outs. We got an 11 to 7 lead as we score one more time. Man, these day pitches just are awful. I know I don't think our pitches are too much better. We have we did blow a six run lead. And yeah, I think that's gonna wind up being the dagger in this game. We hit our second career Grand Slam in the AAA, a 377 foot bomb. Let's go. Oh man, I think that's like our what, sixth or seventh RBI in this game. And we just touched everybody as that ball gets out of here. Me and them booze, so it does look like that was the winding up being the dagger in this game. Yep, 15 to 9. Yeah, they can't come back after that one. Two home runs and seven RBIs. See you guys in the next part of the game. And welcome back, everybody. Matt Vaskersian prepping you for tonight's AAA PCL action. But before we get to the ball game, let's have a look at the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Chandler Whitaker is our focus as he comes off one of his better showings of the year. His last contest, an impressive five-hit performance and really led the charge offensively for this ball club. Yeah, and let me tell you, getting five hits in a ball game is really tough to do. I mean, sometimes you don't even get five at-bats, and we all know that getting a base hit is one of the toughest things to do in sports. Going into this one, I'll bet he'll be trying to emulate everything he was doing and thinking about up there because it obviously worked, and I'm sure the team hopes he has another big game. It always helps get your offense going when a guy is hot like that. Okay. Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. All right, so our first opportunity here of the day is coming at the top of the first inning, and uh, we couldn't ask for a better situation batting third. We got a man on first, oh, excuse me, not first, third and second. Man, let's see if we can bring both these guys home. That curveball is in the dirt. He or actually, that's a circle change up. Excuse me. Nine as they enter play here this evening. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the so schedule the one -oh has pitch. not done him any favors. And, mm, five not sure if that would have been a strike or not, but yeah, we do wind up fouling it off. Let him down last time. Too often, their guys were falling behind and having to throw fast. Yeah, ooh, we reach for that one as it gets us off one. balance. For that'll catch up with you. Man, that two seamer went straight out of the zone. Got to hold off Here's on that. Should be two one. Delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. Man, his fastball is not getting high at all. Only 90 miles per hour. Ooh, we got another ball. Oh, man, discipline is not good. Clearly, he does not want to pitch to us. And we're going to wander grounding out to the shortstop. We do do one thing, that's bring the guy home. Yeah, we'll take the RBI. I'm fine with that. 
Top of the third here with one out. We got a man on first. The game is tied. And one off. Looks like it might be in the... Oh, man, it could be another game like last game. And they're going to start us off with a pitch out. So, we're all right. We'll take that. Take the 1 0 counter here early on. And I do understand with this guy having a 97 speed and a 99 steal, he could be taken off at any moment. And we're going to foul that one off. And we're going to do another pickoff. All right, man. I'm tired of kind of seeing these pickoffs and throwouts. Come on. He's, He's going to take off. That ball was a ball. And wow, they call him out. I thought he made it. All right. The 2-1 pitch is on his way. And we're going to slap that one into left field for a nice single. Hey, we would have got that last game. We would have been hitting for the cycle, so we have technically hit for the cycle in the, in the series against these guys. And hey, look at that, 29 game hit the streak. Let's go. Really amazing, and everybody's looking at this now. It gets harder and harder to do when people are paying attention. Three-one count. He's gonna smack that one through as it gets past the second baseman. And we're gonna move up to second. Looks like we might have some two-out magic working. With runners in scoring position and two one two outs. count. This is a big right He's gonna smack that one into the gap and out there. That's gonna bring home us, and that should bring home the guy that was on first. And he is gonna be saved, coming all the way home. So much for shortening up. Five one lead. Looks like the pitcher staff is doing just a little bit better today. He's not giving a run for run. But we got a man on second with two outs right here. See if we can extend this lead six to one. Once again, off balance. Yeah, we were late. Man, I didn't think we were too late on that, but I guess I'm wrong. We're gonna wind up fouling that one off. Yeah, we just got a ball right there. Discipline has not been the name of the game for us in this game. Inside, and that ball is inside 96 miles an hour. Third double of the game for these guys, as you see the comparison there. One two pitch. And ooh, I feel like we kind of just missed that. Oh man, we had good timing on that. Hey. Come on, gang. You gotta reward me with that one. And we're going to softly ground out to the second baseman. So we're not going to do anything with that. One for three here on the day. We got a man on first. Still a 5-1 ball game, and they do have a new pitcher out there on the mound. I believe this is the same guy. You have the 97 speed, 99 steals. So he might be stealing again. Hopefully he doesn't get caught. And right down the middle, we're going to send this one deep to left field. And it's going to get past the left fielder. And that's going to bring... Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought they were going to throw it home. And they're going to get us out. We're trying to go to third. 6-3 in the top of the ninth. We got one out. Let's see if we can add some more insurance runs. We've not done the best with runners in scoring position. Although we do got an RBI. Actually, I think we got two because that one earlier. Down the middle, and it's going to be a routine fly out to center field. Center field is deep out here in this stadium, 420. Yeah, looks like we're going to wind up winning this game as well. 7-3, so somebody must have brought that guy home. See you guys in the next part. Top of the first right here. One man out, a man on first. Seeing this quite a bit lately. The same guy with 97 speed and 99 steel is on base. And we're probably going to see quite a bit of that on this at bat. Pitch. And we hit it to the center field, but he's going to get the over-the-shoulder catch. And we're going to start our 0 for 1. 
Chandler Whitaker. All right, so we have struck. We yeah, struck first. It is now one nothing here in the top of the fourth inning. First pitch of the inning. That sinker is going to be low. For a ball, it's one and oh. Fly ball out and another fly ball, field. and that's going to be another out. So we're starting off over two. Not the and best start out here in the world. The first down. Chandler Whitaker will stand and it is now 3-0. We're coming up the back for our third time here in the top of the six. Yeah, One man is out. And right now our hitting streak is on the line, man. We're trying to get to 30 games. And this pitcher is doing a pretty good job. And this one's not close. 95 mile per hour fastball just misses. Actually, never mind. It was actually quite, quite, a, quite low. One old pitch. We're gonna use the Showtime feature, and we're gonna smack it deep to left center field. Is gonna drop out there, and that's gonna be an extra base hit. We're gonna see if we can get to third. And that throw is not gonna be in time, as we're gonna cruise into third for our second triple of the series. And that, as you see, will extend in a thirty-game hitting streak. Swing and this guy's gonna the pop out the first base. First. Is there for it. Gotta get that deeper, man. Changes the at bat because he doesn't three want to count, play two outs. Two and, oh. now, and he will not bring us home either as he grounds out the second. Top of the ninth, we're gonna have one more at bat, probably our last at bat of the game, unless our closer can't shut him down. There's a slider four seam and a change up. In, so you might as well ride that hot end. And that slider is going to be low. Hitting at 85 miles per hour. It's got some pretty good heat on that. And that slider. In there for a strike. Probably could have swung with that one. Alright, it's going to be 2 1. Getting a nice hitter's count. Hopefully they give us something right down the middle so we can do something with with it. And he does, and that ball's going to get through, and that's going to be a nice single right there. Two-two count, one out. And he swings on top, and he's going to grind out into a four-six-three double play. That's going to do it for our side. It's going to wind up doing it for this game as well as we're going to walk well, on with another victory. See you guys in game four. Matt Vaskersian back on the minor league pregame show as we move closer to first pitch tonight in the Pacific Coast League with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Chandler Whitaker is our subject, and it's pretty obvious why at this point. He comes into this game with a 30-game hitting streak on the line, and just about everyone around the baseball world is taking notice. Yeah, you know, he's still a long ways away from the all-time Major League record for consecutive games with a hit, but anytime someone gets to 30, boy, that's a big deal. You know, we talked about him being at 20 games a couple of weeks ago, and we said he was hot then. So what now? What is he, scorching? Well, there's no doubt everything looks good mechanically for him at the plate. But the hardest times are ahead, if you ask me. When you take a streak into the 30s, everyone takes notice. And as Matt mentioned, pitchers want to be the guy that breaks it up. The media starts talking about it, comparing it to other historical streaks. Even teammates get wrapped up in the excitement of it. He'll say he's not focusing on the streak and he's just trying to help the team win. But I'm sure he's starting to feel the pressure, even if it's just a little bit. All right, pregame festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. All right, our first batting opportunity coming here in the top of the first inning with two outs. So it looks like our leadoff guy and second guy couldn't get anything done as they both went down in six pitches. The changeup is nice and low. EK, our home nine as they start play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing so last time out. One and in count fact, to start off. And ooh, and he took that one right down the heart of the plate. Or for the home stand. Might have should have swung at that fastball. It wasn't going that fast either. And that fastball is also in the dirt, so we've got a 2-1 count here. Lift 
And we reach out for that one center. to left field, and Morgan it's going to go straight to the left field. Go for one. Into the box now. Chandler and we got a 1-0 lead right here nice Whittaker. and early. I like to see that always. And we got a man on first with two outs in the top of the third inning. Now a slider and he gets wow, ahead he hung that slider. A runner on first Actually with two wasn't one. looking for that slider, so sometimes that gets me. And we're going to smack that one up the middle, and that's going to extend this hitting streak to 31 games. Let's go. Yeah, actually, didn't nothing happen. The next guy wanted up grounding onto a double play. And it's a 2-1 game right here in the top of the fifth. Nobody out. Men on first and second. And we're going to ground out into a double play and a jump throw, and he's going to wind up dropping it. So we avoid the double play with the first baseman dropping it. I didn't actually nothing happen with that either. And actually, this video is just getting long, so I'm trying to cut it down some more. But it's 4-2 here in the top of the seventh inning. And that fastball is inside. This actually is a new pitcher they have in the game, too. We're going to ground that one on foul. And give us a changeup. Forcing slider and a changeup is what this guy has. So we were very early on that. And wow, man, that fastball just made it inside. 1-2 count. We can't strike out, and that's going to be a ball. Well in the dirt. So 2-2 two, two count, two outs. And we got to get some going for our team with two outs. That's going to be a ball that almost winds up hitting us. I got kind of should have took it for the team right there, man. We're struggling with down two runs. And he's the Showtime feature right here. And it's going to wind up being a pop-up out there into shallow left field. Montano Damn. is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning stretch time now from Laughing Mountain. 4-2, heading to the bottom of the seventh. And it doesn't look like we're going to wind up winning this game, unfortunately. But we did do great in this season. Went three, won three out of four on the road. Can't ask for really too much more than that. We didn't have a great day, went one for four. But hey, thank you all very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos that I've been posting of this series and more. Also, check out my Chicago White Sox series. The link will be in the description. Thank you all very much for watching once again. I'm out till next time, everybody. Peace.